let's go. Welcome to the next episode of the Atlas Farming Strategies. Atlas Farming Experiments based or cringe. Is it good? I don't know what the name of the show is yet, but we are testing different Atlas strats and the next one we're trying is Ritual. We're trying the GGG's vertical strategies, invest everything into one mechanic, only use the one type of League Mechanic Scarabs and see if that's good. I spec'd my tree for nothing but Ritual, edit some shrines, some quands, some scarabs, some map effect, whatever. Every ritual thing, except the two stupid notables, we're not taking the no reroll and we're not taking the random range of favor stuff. So we're gonna be running double selectiveness and one recognition, one abundance. Um, scarabs, all ritual scarabs, and we're, we're gonna be able to reroll five times. Two additional from the tree, so if you just do a ritual, you can reroll the window one time. Because of this node, you can do it two more times, so three times total, four times do total. Do not click this! Do not click this! Four times total, five times total. I think that means we can check out six windows of shopping per map. So we are actually going into a mall and checking six mall stores per map. The maps are Chisel, Alk, and Go, except I rerolled them to 24 plus pack size. So Do you we'll, is my answer on that one? So we'll have a lot of mobs in there, uh, in the rituals, and we can shop a lot. I have three map mods that I don't want to run. It's Cannot Leech, less cooldown and less uh, faster buff expiration, so my shout doesn't instantly expire, and then, uh, you know, I do ZDPS. It's, it's doable, but I'd rather just reroll those as usual. Empty tabs, tabulate the loot at the end. You guys know the deal already. These carobs are expensive. Expensive, there. These are 13 C each, these are <laughs> 1 C each, and these are 3 C each. So 20 C scarab cost per map, plus rolling, so 22, 23 C per map cost. We'll do that at the end, as always, with the math stuff. I picked a bunch of maps that are decent to run to the boss, because we want to rush the boss to do that ritual first, so we can res the boss in the other rituals in the map and get, you know, more favor or tribute. Tribute is the resource that you farm to shop in rituals. So let's get started. And the mortal fragment and the fusing. And that's it. GG. We did the shopping. <laughs> Next map. Okay, guys, uh, we lost money on this one because uh, we didn't extract 23 chaos of value, unfortunately. Hopefully the next one pays off. On to the next mall, yes. Yeah, the 5C is okay, but, uh, you know, we don't want to roll into a mirror, so I'm gonna, you know, just reroll. No mirror. <laughs> okay, we buy this. I will still... shit on you. Beyond Scarab of Hegemony. Listen, guys. We're just gonna... <laughs> buy some stuff. Okay, second map. We also lost money. Not looking good so far, guys. But that's okay. We have 42 more maps left. During which we will probably lose money. What's the difference between lockstep and predictive? Lockstep makes your client synchronize your position in the game to the server. Predictive does that server side and tries to predict where you are, but sometimes it misfires and you will desync. That's when you run into like a corridor that's full of mobs. If you're on predictive, you can run through and then cast something on the other end of the corridor and you will teleport back to the corridor because you didn't actually pass all of the monsters. That will never happen in lockstep, but that comes at a performance cost, so especially CPU cost. So if you want better performance, but sometimes desync, play predictive. If you want never desync, play lockstep. So close, but so far. <laughs> I got an insane jewel base, but it's still on the wrong base. It's a hypnotic eye, so I don't think this is worth. It's a cool item though. Plus one support, synth bow. Yo, yo, yo. Yes, 
It fucking happened. We got one good thing. Base? I don't know. It's ivory bow. I don't care. Any bow base? 19 div. None of these just ivory bow. Nobody cares. It's a plus one bow. Guys. Guys. <laughs> guys. It's working. Do I defer it? So I can check one more? Okay, 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 okay. I'll buy it. I'll just buy it. Fuck it, dude. Okay, and then defer. We already deferred the divine. And now we look at the last page. Nay, I have no, I can't. Okay, I can't. Okay, okay, we're good. At least it's not a complete failure, okay? We did something. We found something. And we're like halfway through. Oops. Build. Turn it on. We could still get something even better. Okay? Positive mental attitude. Just think about it. Don't worry about how bad it is. Think about how good it could be. The next page could always be insane. You know? Oh, look! They're back, but in greater numbers. <laughs> look at that. They're, they're stacking. They're ramping. Can I afford to get both of them? I'm deferring. Nice. They will be back in even larger numbers. Oh, they're back, but now I, I don't think I can afford to defer. It's 800 for this one. 600 for this one. Okay, we can do that. And now, no more. We have to check the last window. Wow, the window is full. The window is completely full. It, it, there is no more space for more items. And they are so good. So, so good. Look at that, for example. A synthesized claw with 1 to 2 physical damage on the implicit. It's one of the better items on the window. Horn Scarab of Preservation! What? Eight Divines! Yes! Look! From the ritual, respawn monsters which have a minus 90% loot multiplier. Ritual is insane! <laughs> that is probably pretty lucky, but... Okay. It's working, the strat is cooking. Ritual is base. <laughs> Guys, and we haven't even checked the shopping window, okay? Cartography Scarab of Duplication, 4C. We're actually just straight up buying that. There are two wolves inside you. One of them is continually deferring the intuitive leap. And the other one just uh, wants to roll over every synth item to trigger chance. Which wolf will win? Good news. I sold the bow that we found yesterday. 17. Off stream, actually. And the guy almost fucked up. He put in 27 divines and hit accept. And then I tell him like, bro, they stuck to 20 now. Be careful. <laughs> someone, someone else would have probably accepted it. <laughs> But uh, I think I could have sold it for a little more, like 2021. It was not a really high dex requirement one, but at least it's gone. Ritual made some money. Moving on. Oh, there's a guy here. What does he have? Inspired Learning, 30C. Valkaras, 10C. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, back to shopping. From window shopping to window shopping. I just finished the 50 maps and we're about to price everything and then yeah I'll skip this part on YouTube of course and then go to the actual interesting part. We are at the exciting part of pricing when we open the good friend of the stream the Windows calculator and uh, I took out some garbage this is the stuff that we got we got 39 jungle valley maps Couple of essences. I think I'm not gonna prize these. Maybe there is like one or two screechings here, like a couple of chaos, but it's like not enough to make a meaningful impact. And you're probably not, probably not gonna like sell these until you have a lot more essences. But we got some. Just showing in case. Actually, the remnant of corruption is nice. It's like two and a half C, but that's okay. Thirty nine jungle valley maps at five C each is one hundred and ninety five chaos. So we didn't sustain this time on our favorite maps alone. We did sustain otherwise. There's a lot more maps where that came from. I only show T14 to 
uh, 16 maps, but most of these are 16. There's last time that was like 115, and everything else was 16. So an inventory is uh, 240C, right? At 4C each. This is what we got. This is the good stuff. And there is one more good stuff that I sold. So the 17 Divine Bow. We found a plus one socketed gems synth bow. I sold that for 17 div. Uh, we got a plus one fractured spine bow. This is like 25 chaos or something. We got a pretty nice greeds embrace, 15 quant and 48 rarity. I think this one is like one divine ish, maybe even two. We'll see. We'll see what excellence says. I'm curious. We have an on ID onyx amulet. We can probably price that as an on ID onyx amulet. They're like 70 C on ID. So, this uh, doesn't include our investment yet, so let's do that. We spent, I was gonna run Domination, but I didn't, it's, it was, I just skipped it. I just run, ran it for like the first two maps, three maps, and then turn it off. So, we spent 20 C on Scarabs per map, and then, of course, the map cost, let's say, 4C each for like random layout. We can say 5C each and then 2C each on rolling them. Like Chisel and Alk and go. I rerolled a couple of them. Let's say 3C each of rolling them. So that would be 20 plus 5 for the map. That's 25 and 3C on rolling them. So 28 chaos per map is what we spent, which is what we have to extract. 28 times 50. So we spent 1,400 chaos on this. So we're in the negative right now. <laughs> Minus 847 chaos. Let's go to excellence and find out what happened. Okay, the tabs are a ritual and goal. Well, good luck. 6,640 chaos. Ooh, uh, ritual and go. Those are the three tabs. Yeah. Okay, so plus 6,643. We made 5,796 chaos. 5,700, it's actually all on page one here. It's the divines and the scarab that's carrying. And what's the last page? It's literally nothing. Yeah, yeah, we can we can do the calculation if we didn't find the bow, but yeah, so out of 50 maps, we made 35.1 divines, 165, 35 div. Wow, okay, so interesting, half of this came from the bow, and the other half is just random stuff. So if I didn't find the bow, then I would have made 18 divines, and it took two hours to run it. Wrong. Hey guys, uh, post stream MP here. A rare moment that where I'm actually recording something, and it feels really weird because I have no chat to talk to. But uh, I have messed up the calculation of the div per hour of the ritual project on stream. So here I am fixing the mistake. For some reason, I calculated it as two hours. It didn't take us two hours. It took three and a half hours to run them. It takes a long time to shop through those windows. So we actually made 10 div per hour, including the bow, which is not great. And if you don't include the bow, then we made five div per hour. That's uh, <clears throat> not great. We extracted. 0.7 divines exactly per map on average without the bow we extracted 0.36 divines each map as always i'm not including trading time in these only the time to acquire all this stuff what i do is i, I do a couple of days or weeks of farming and then i sit down and do a big trading stream and unload uh, you know everything in like four or five hours if you want to include your own trading time in this to any of these strats after one, two, three, four, five hours of farming, you do that and modify the calculation. I'm always just to be consistent across many different strats. I only include the farming time. So this is a slower strat, but we didn't find a jackpot item. 
this strat is not a not a very consistent strat but it's pretty slow so this one does not scale well with fast builds even though i have a fast build i still have to stand there and i still have to shop and look through six pages of stuff i think that bow find is actually really it's it's nice that we found something because you will find something but that something that we found was actually kind of on the low end of the jackpot items. Way, way, way low end. You can find power charge rings, that's 200 divines. You can find mirror, you can find T0 uniques, you can find other synth items that are going to be way more than that 17 div bow that I sold. So um, I think it's actually a good, like not super lucky event uh, that doesn't like kill the data so much. So I guess if you want to, you know, make five div an hour window shopping and then sometimes find the big treasure, it's an okay strat, but um, on to the next one. Okay.